alongside Rob Lewis from Vanderbilt to Thompson Bowling Arena. Rob, Tennessee wins this one 65-56 over Cincinnati, a pesky group of Bearcats. And Tennessee, clearly a talented team, learning how to win. They found a way today. Found a ways, right? I mean, they found a way with their defense and and the fact that they went 25 and 30 at the free throw line because Tennessee just could not throw it in the ocean. They won a basketball game today. I don't, I don't know how good Cincinnati is, but they, I mean, they were pesky. They were athletic. They were good defensively, but man, Tennessee was just bad on offense today. But I mean, I defensively, they they are good enough to work. They're going to be able to get away with that some nights. Overall impressions. Keon obviously had a strong uh, a strong first half. Um, you know, Jaden Springer made some plays. Um, just take me through, you know, kind of your overall impressions of this this young group that is clearly uh, getting better by the game, especially having missed, you know, the first month, having missed games, having missed practices due yeah, to it, now I don't want to be too I don't want to be too harsh on them offensively because I do think you know that 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 comes with with chemistry with, with repetition, and I, I certainly think that missing eleven days of practice having your an obstacle on the offensive end. So again, I don't want to go overboard and be too critical there. My biggest takeaway today was, you know, after everybody was dying to see those two freshmen in the opener and Rick played them a combined, what was 22 minutes, I think. Today, 3.57 left. It's it's a two point game. You come out of the media timeout and both the freshmen are on the floor. And, you know, I, I don't know what they ended up with. I think Jaden played 28 minutes. I think Keon played 22 or 23. But pretty clearly, you know, Rick is coming around to thinking he's going to let those guys play through some mistakes and he's going to get his foul and kids on the floor. They weren't perfect today. You know, Keon missed a couple of crucial foul shots late. He had a bad turnover, which, you know, Rick benched him for with about a minute and a half left in the game. Jaden, you know, didn't shoot it great. But, I mean, you could see – I mean, you could just see it. I mean, Jaden got wherever he wanted to go on the court, had, had some makeable shots. Keon just defensively was off the charts, had a couple of grown man rebounds. Neither one of them, you know, offensively, I, I think is – they're not where you're going to see them. But to me – and I'm not saying anything. Victor Bailey and Josiah Jordan-James are both really good players. They, they need to play. They can help you win. They're getting fewer minutes, and Johnson and Springer are getting more if I'm the head coach. All right, Tennessee wins a 65-56. They improved to 2-0 on the year. You'll have complete coverage of postgame. We're from Rick Barnes, a couple of the players. And then we'll get you ready for Tennessee and Vanderbilt. Two-minute drill up on the site. As we speak, this has been the Full Court Press, Tennessee victorious on the young basketball season, 65-56 over Cincinnati.